are two main, uh, main drivers in the, this class that are battling for the championship. Mikael is in the inside and Liano second lane. It should be very interesting. Nice camera view here from uh, Hyperplan Quebec team. Let's see that final. So Mikael Darling in the first lane, Liana Richard in the second lane. Uh, let's note that uh, in the third lane, uh, the mini rank is driven, it's driven by uh, Nicolas Rousse uh, from uh, Loiseau Bleu in 2.5 liters. Uh, he's probably has it in his mind that last year he blew over in that right spot right there. And he's probably... Uh, the win on the back stretch is tricky. So let's watch our leader. Timothée Special, Michael Tremblay, the CT11. Nice color to remember. Uh, Daniel in mind of everyone. A uh, very good driver at the time. It's too bad he passed away so fast and with uh, the, all the, the safety equipment that we have. No more uh, driver lost his life. He's still in the lead. It's Michael Tremblay, the Timothée Special. And where he is located is the Grand Prix boat, the Steeler. Yeah, it's interesting. In the 1.5 liter class, we have Michael Tremblay that's in boat racing family with Daniel being his uncle, Germain being his grandfather, in the 5 liter class uh, later on in their career. Last lap, and uh, we see Daniel Emon. Yeah, great win. He's going to take a, a lead on the championship. Liana's going to have to work very hard to come back and the, uh, to win the championship in Warnwell. It's not finished, but it's going to be a tough call for her. Let's see, uh, let's see what happens in Warnwell next weekend. Liana Richards. It's a guy, it's a driver that's in, whoa, look, Mathieu Lamey, oh, just rode the Marco Poirier's rooster tail. Yeah, about Dominique Maisonneuve, he's improved a lot this year, uh, second lane, well deserved. Let's see the great start here by everyone. And especially Kent Anderson in lane number eight, so he qualified by the back door, winning the consolation. Uh, look at him, the influence number 79, and the rewinder, Mike Monahan. Oh, great start by uh, Douglas Rapp in, in front of his, uh, of, his, uh, of his crowd. Second place is Marco Poirier. Great battle till, uh, probably till the end. And he's a new <laughs> he's a new cover for the last 30 years, I guess. Last <laughs> uh, race, so everything can happen. Yeah, great battle again with Marco and uh, Mike Monet. Side by side, it's going to be very difficult for uh, Marco. From Ontario, Canada. While we see still in the lead, Douglas Rapp, new color this, this year, it's uh, the consolation. Well, depending on how many boats, there can be two consolations. But right now, look at the fight between Monaghan, number nine, the Rewinder, and this for the third year, I think, in the half. Of course, uh, the last third for EMS, Douglas Rapp, bad influence, number 79. Our winner here in Webster for the 2.5 liter final. For uh, a win, but it's not over. Sylvain Dorez is there. He's having a very great uh, weekend. Marco Boy is there. Let's see what's going to happen in that night, in, the, in that final. And for this uh, final, there's a tra true trailer boat, Yannick Léger in Supernova and Brendan Kennedy in last minute, uh, the last two. It's uh, Marc Lecon, the, the Napa Racing, number 104 in the lead. Right? Well, need to come over, Sylvain there. You have to keep your lane. Marc, Marc's got to uh, keep his lane. It's going to be a very tough uh, race between you and uh, Mr. Poirier till the end of the race, I think. So now, you're not in the picture what happened at that corner. I think it was tight between you and uh, Marco Poirier. And here by Brendan Kennedy. You have to remember he was five seconds late on the start because he was on the second lane. And he managed to pull the third place. It's very impressive. Uh, but great battle here between Dulud and uh, Derek Smith and Harley. Penalty, so he's uh, out of the picture right well, now in the third lane. Here Marco Poirier uh, seems like he has closed the door on Brendan Kennedy on the entrance of the second turn. Lab, uh, we see Marco Poirier in the good looking Instagram. Uh, Octem Strategy number 32, third place. Yeah, well, even though you may race, he knows he's out of the race, so he's, uh, he's being nice to giving uh, room for everyone to have a, a great battle. Checkered. Attention for the championship. Let's see everyone get the start. Don't like Radoni leading in the back of the start. What a great start by Tom. Let's remember, he won here last year. Let's see if he can repeat the exploit. So, it's uh, back Radoni, Rolling Thunder, number 88 in the front of the back. And he is running great here in Webster.
Webster last year. He get first in the corner, just proved there. Look at Tom leading the back. Marty Wolf is going to do his best to try to catch up with him. And let's see. End up on the podium. And right now it's raining. <laughs> and we know it's slippery when wet. Oh, well, of course. In both races, the water, water gets incredibly rough in the corners. But the drivers keep managing to put on a great show and battling for the, the race. So we see great win in uh, Webster. One lap to go. Second place, Marty Wolf still battling, and who's fighting for third lane? It's still Max Oh, and Mac Lagon and Ken Brody. Mac Lagon fighting for Ken to go, and the championship is not over yet. So it's the last lap, and as we see the rolling thunder from the first lap to the last one, he's our winner here in Webster. Second place, Marty Wolf, the renegade, and in third place, Wahoo, Mac Lagon in the Piesto Duvalifi.